How's it all going this evening, everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel slash Facebook post slash whatever I can make for videos and throw them up on the internet for some fun, right? Okay, my name is Blaine Newpert. I have been coin collecting for about 35 years and I am going to try again in this video to pass along some of the knowledge and information that I have. In today's video, we are going to cover the subject of early die state, middle die state, late die state. Should be easy, right? Not so much. Versus strong strike, weak strike. Okay, let's do my best really quickly here to explain something to you first. Before we get too far, you get to look at my ugly mug with a fresh haircut uh, that I got today. And you guys get to try and figure out just how confusing all of this can be. When I do some of my posts on my Facebook page, I try very, very hard not to give too much information in the post because you can only describe so much stuff in a small post before people look at the length of the writing in the post and go, yeah, I'm not reading all that, just not gonna happen. You can only describe so much with pictures as well. I had a recent post that I attempted to, to explain a strong strike versus weak strike on, and I had somebody that made a comment, and to their credit, they were correct when they made the comment asking me if I was delineating between die states with the pictures I was showing versus strong strike, weak strike. So with the post that I had, I technically had a strong struck earlier die state coin up with a picture next to it of a weaker struck later die state coin. So logic says that if you have an earlier die state coin, you should have a stronger struck coin. Not always, because there are some minting processes that get in the way of that whole concept, but it should be that way, right? All right. What about late die state? Late die state basically means that the die itself has been used closer to the capacity that that die can be used for to create coins of adequate quality to be put into circulation. As the dies wear, the image that's on them wear right along with them. They start to wear down, they start to lose their shape, they start to crack. There's all sorts of things that happen as a die ages. But it doesn't mean that with a late die state die, you can't have a strong or stronger struck coin it just simply means that the details of that coin will not be as pronounced as a strong struck early die state coin. Okay, that's the best definition I can give you. I know that's confusing as I'll get out. Trust me, I understand it. There are people out there that know far more about all of the die making processes and all of the minting processes than I do. I'm trying to give you the information that I have as a non-professional, strictly as a collector, uh, and try and give it to you in a way that is easiest to understand. And the best way I can do that is with pictures. So guess what we get to look at? You got it. Pictures of coins, right? I know you're excited, just like me. So here we go. Let's see what we can come up with. Up on your screen at the moment, is a coin that is side by side. Now it's over top of me. So that's just kind of the way that this works. I can fill the whole screen with it. But in order to do that, I have to talk slightly differently. So um, the, the picture you see is of two coins that are both 1944s. Okay. The, the picture on the right hand side of your screen is essentially what I am gonna call an earlier die state. Is it completely early die state? No, um, but for the sake of this particular video, early die state is what we're going to call it. The coin on the left 
is a coin that I am going to call a late die state, okay, or later die state. It is not the latest die state that I've ever seen, but it is a late die state because of a variety of things that I'm going to point out in a second. So with that being said, this is what we have. Early die state, late die state. Early die state right, late die state left. Okay. So if you take a look at the two coins, you'll see there's a whole bunch of red circles on them. And on in those circles are basically comparisons between the two. And I want you to take a really close look at the comparisons between, say, the ear on both coins and the hair behind the ear, as well as the most obvious ones like, say, the word trust, for example, up in the upper right hand corner of the coin at about two o'clock, uh, one to two o'clock on the coin and take a look also at where the VDB on the shoulder is and see how different those particular areas are. Now there's obviously a lot of other circles on this, but you know, the bow tie and especially the, the, the breast or the, I guess if you want to call it the, uh, the shirt down by the date and mint mark, you'll notice completely changes from an earlier die state to a later die state. So here was my mistake with my Facebook post. My mistake with my Facebook post was I called the coin on the right um, a strong struck coin and I called the coin on the left a weak struck coin. Technically speaking, that's correct as long as I am not accounting for die states, all right? So if you want to go just by strength of strike, the coin on the right you're looking at is definitely a much stronger struck coin. It is also an earlier die state coin. The coin on the left is a much weaker struck coin, but it could be for two reasons. It could be because of the late die state, or it could also be weakly struck because of a thin planchet, because of in a, uh, inaccurate or, I guess, um, not the right pressure uh, on the machine or the die press uh, to actually create a stronger strike to get the metal flow where it needs to be. In this particular instance, however, it's because the die is a later die state. All right, so we've got that cleared up. So I'm going to go on to another image in just a second here, all right? So with that being said, what you see on the screen in front of you now is essentially the same coins, but just the top half of the coin so that we can kind of eliminate looking at the whole coin without any of the red circles. So the coin on the top is the weaker or later die state coin. The coin on the bottom is the stronger or earlier die state coin. And again, this is going to be real quick because we're going to also switch to the um, bottom of the coin, which you're going to see pop up in just a, a few minutes here, a minute or so. Uh, but take a good look while I've got this coin up so that you can see what it is that I'm trying to explain to you in terms of the early die state, late die state, strong strike, weak strike. Okay. That, that's all I'm attempting to do. I apologize. I just bumped the microphone. It is what it is. But now I'm going to put the other picture up of the bottom half of the coin. And I want you to take a really close look at the bow tie and especially the right hand side of the bow tie, the one that's you know, further underneath his chin, I guess, rather than in his coat. And I want you to take a look at that and notice that there is more definition of that right hand side of the bow tie. That right there is one way to start looking at a stronger struck coin. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for all of the little details and a earlier die state will give you those details better than a later die state will, obviously, because the die state causes the coin or it, it it's essentially the coin die wearing. So those details start to fade over time, as does strength of strike, meaning 
if you have a coin that doesn't have the proper pressure on the the die press, uh, it is not going to create the same amount of metal flow into the cracks and crevices of the uh, uh, coin itself uh, and give it the details that it needs. So strength of strike is tied to die state, but strength of strike can also be for various other reasons. I know I'm pounding that whole idea home in this, but you will get that understanding. Now, I'm going to quickly show you the reverses of the coins so that you can see what happens to the reverse as well. And, you know, we get kind of a latent image uh, on the reverse. So here's the reverse and you get a chance to see the reverses of both coins. Same thing. Right hand side is the earlier die state. Left hand side is the later die state. But if you look really closely, the latent image of the bust of Lincoln from the obverse is now actually starting to be evident. Obviously, the top of Lincoln's head is down at the bottom where the two uh, tips of the wheat stalk are. Uh, and as you go, because the image is obviously flipped uh, upside down from the obverse. And as you go further up the coin on the reverse here, you'll notice that there are other parts of the image that disappear as well, like the top of the O for, of the word one, and even the PLU from Pluribus. Now, why are those images uh, so weak in this particular instance? Simple because there is a larger relief to the other side of the coin. And if you take a really close look at it, that other side of the coin, uh, the obverse side of the coin is actually um, Lincoln's shoulder. And so it is a high relief on the obverse. And as the two dies are being used, once in a while, they'll they'll clash, they'll strike with each other, and that causes wear from one side of the coin to the other. And as that wears, obviously, that particular portion of the die starts to wear down and create flat spots. Um, and, and so as it creates the flat spots, the, the metal can't fill into those areas the same way. So there you go. This is essentially what my Facebook post, if you're not part of my Facebook page, then maybe go find it and join it. Uh, so you can see the thread of all of this uh, that transpired. Um, again, I want to reiterate that the gentleman who essentially uh, brought up the accountability for early die state, middle die state, late die state is 100% correct, right? He is 100% correct. I simply wasn't trying to delineate between those three die states. I was simply trying to explain what a stronger struck coin looked like versus a weaker struck coin. That's it. So now you know as much as I do or whatever, I guess, if you want to call it that, uh, about the strong strike and what I look for in a coin when it comes to that. Theory says if you have an earlier die state coin, you should have a stronger struck coin as well. Theory also says that if you have a later die state coin, you should also have a weaker struck coin. It's not 100% always that way. But for the most part, it makes common sense that it's that way. So have a good evening, everybody. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Good night.